to the bin where I found this flag. It's the Armenian flag. It's a flag of our nation, and I'm Armenian as well, but I'm born in Belgium. Today we are in Jerusalem to find more about my people and my nation. Let's go find them. My name is Alexandro. When I came to Jerusalem, I heard people speaking my language in the streets, Aramaic. The flag in the bin was the last hint to make me go. I wonder how our people live here. Do the tensions between Israelis and Palestinians influence their life? Or are they a strong community? After the genocide in 1915 by the Ottomans, many fled. They spread all around the world. Some of us ended up in Israel or Belgium. First, I wandered through the Christian quarter in the old town. I find some Armenians. Most of them don't want to be filmed. They feel sandwiched between the fighting religions. But then I bumped into Sami, the Mukhtar. He's the mayor of the Aramean community in Jerusalem. Bash. <laughs> We are a small number, about 160, 170 families in Jerusalem, because all of them, they leave the country. Not just my community, most of the people, they leave. Why do they leave the country? They, because of the problems. So they leave the country because always there is a problem. Aramaic people has also problems here? And what, no. ki what kind of problems do problems, we... Problems, you know, for example, now there is a problem about the doors and the mask. Yeah. They have problems. Every, always, every time there is a problem. Really. Anyone, if he leaves the country, he will never come back. And I remember when I was a child, the majority of the people here, the Christian, they were 30%. Now we are 1%. There is always problems between the three communities, Christian, Muslim, and Jew. They are the same children of Abraham, the same roots, the same nation, same God, same prophet, but unfortunately, they don't like each other. Say the truth. Sami shows me pictures of Marlin in southeast of Turkey. That's where his family originally comes from. You know what's funny? My grandparents also come from Marlin. This makes me think of my uncle Musa. He was in Jerusalem only a couple of weeks ago. Maybe he knows where to go next. I give him a call. Hello, Dekhit. Bashi. Bashi, merci. He da oli go Jerusalem ban khairin ekile. Uncle Musa tells me to visit the St. Mark's Monastery, the most important place for the Aramaic society in Jerusalem. At home, we go to church every Sunday. Religion plays a big role for us. I'm happy to find Archbishop Severus Smalki, who can tell me more about the role of his church. We are uh, helping them in, uh, in getting permission for them to come from Jerusalem, from West Bank, Bethlehem to work here. Sometimes we will help them by money every monthly for the families, poor families. And also sometimes, especially in West Bank, there is no, uh, if they need to go to the hospital, we help them also. We help them with the, of the schools also, pay the schools, pay the schools. But uh, in the final, it uh, depends the situation. Sometimes they can't come here frequently, sometimes difficult to come from here. Only they allow uh, who live in the old city, we can enter. So in that time, nobody will, will can pray for us in that way. Before I came to Jerusalem, I often heard about this Aramaic language, the language of Jesus, which we do speak at home. But, so I expected a really big community, but in fact it's a really small one. However, it's a small one, they keep their traditions high and in that way I still feel connected with these people, although it's far away from home.